morning, good morning, good morning. Stats go up, stats go down. Then we see what an amazing Friday, right? What an amazing Friday on Microsoft. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. Three cents to two bucks. Insane. One eighty five. Wow. They took off. They want 17 cents to seven bucks. This stuff doesn't happen very often, but crazy, crazy, crazy nice. Crazy nice. Fun. Okay. So what do we have today? You had the uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, uh, jobs report. You had the jobs report, and it was just average. And the SPX was up about nine. But, you know, back to this, you know, somebody asked me this stuff. It's kind of interesting to me because uh, I, I didn't really understand what, 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 what they're saying. And it's, they're telling me, well, how do I keep track of prices at Walmart? Well, you go, uh, you go to the store. If you go to the store and you buy milk, and then a week later you go to the store and you buy milk, you see the price. A week later you go to the store and you buy milk. If, whatever you buy two, three, four times in a month, you should see what the price is. And, and you don't need to write it. I mean, it's, it's, it just it comes, right? So Walmart continues to raise prices. Now, are they raising them because the manufacturers raising them? You know, I don't know, but it's a complete disaster. It just is. Nobody's fixing anything, and they're just, it's like Costco lost money, so it's like, let's raise prices so we make more money. But if you go back a year, year and a half, they've made so much more money just because they've raised prices. When does it stop? I don't know. Okay. Today, Tesla got a crater. It's going to crater. Last time it lowered prices and went down 17%. So 17% here puts it around 150. Probably doesn't get there, but under 179, under 179 is 173 and 168. 168. 163, a big number. Okay. Now, here's the thing with Tesla Elon is tweeting this, and I don't know if anybody is picking up on this. He's tweeted no less than five times in a month. You know, when everybody says Tesla's going to go way up, Tesla's a great buy, and they say he's a, he says for a long term investment, it's a great buy. For long term. So he's not giving you anything on the short term. Is he going to crush it again? Maybe. Now, I, I love Tesla. Their service sucks. Absolutely sucks. Their parts suck. Okay? But the absolute one thing you cannot do for any car company, and this is different than Tesla, if you get stranded, you call up AAA, you call up whoever your towing company is, and they come out there and they take the car. Okay? Fair enough. If you call up Tesla and they can't open the door to put the car in neutral, that's not good. These guys are overthinking all the stuff that needs to be automated. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of, the, some of this stuff, you know, BMW, all these people do this too. It's just bullshit stuff. You turn on your AC and the vents go from here to there to whatever. Why, why do the – and then when that goes out, it's $600 to go in there and rip your console off saying the chip that controls the vents don't work. Why do I need a chip that controls the vents? Okay, people have overthunk this stuff just so they could raise prices, and all of it breaks. It just breaks. Your PC, how long does your PC last? It always breaks. Your data, if you don't back it up, it goes away. Stuff breaks, okay? And when you're paying twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand 25000 30000 for a car, it's one thing. When you're paying 150000 for a car and something breaks, you're pretty pissed off. And just be careful with this Tesla thing. I mean, he can take this right back down to 150 so fast, make your head spin. They have a demand issue. But it's not just a simple demand issue. It's a buy a Cybertruck, we'll deliver it within a year to two years. And three and a half years later, not one have hit the road. 
Buy buy a roadster and it's coming in a year and a half. Four years later, it's not here. I'm telling you, you can't do shit like that. Think about if you go buy a house and a builder tells you it's going to take seven months. And three years later, you're not moved in. You still like that house? Most likely you're gone. Okay? So same thing with the car. You may love the Cybertruck. Four years later, who cares? Nobody cares. Okay? And Tesla has a problem. And ever since he bought this Twitter, he doesn't really care about Tesla. Just say what you want. And maybe it doesn't matter. That's up to him. But that's what's happening. Okay, UNH earnings on Friday will move the market. Today, very straightforward. If Microsoft gets through 272, it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go. Boeing gets this news and it doesn't move up. Very strange. FedEx working lower. This one looks good, too. But they're killing snow and they're killing lamb research today. Lamb research down 11. That means right back to the selling of the tax. Okay? So know that. Let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay? Uh, even NOW is bid at 254, way down. If it's down 10, that's not so good. Okay? Uh, CPI on Wednesday. That's what we know, that's what we know. Okay. So that's what we know, that's what we know, and that's what we know. Okay? Uh, hold on a second here. Uh, okay. That's what we know. Okay, let's get started. Good morning, good morning, everybody, 410. What a, what a day, Friday. What a week last week. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Snow ripped it, ripped it, ripped it, ripped it, then collapsed. So then we went to Microsoft, and it ripped, and ripped, and ripped, and ripped, and ripped, and ripped. Okay? So very interesting, very interesting. Uh, that's what we know, that's what we know, that's what we know. Okay? Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, hold on a second here. Okay. Uh, hold on. This is not working for some reason. Okay. Okay. Uh, SPX. SPX down about six, seven, anywhere between four to ten. So it's just sitting there. So then we see, then we see, then we see. And we wait, we wait, we wait. Okay? Uh, you have 41.21? 41.52 under 40.82 on the downside. Under 40.82 on the downside. Okay? Uh, so then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay. Uh, Avago chips lower. This thing was at 240. 609, 591. Nvidia, 263, big number. It got near there the other day and it popped 10, right back up. So probably the same thing. So just wait, wait, wait. Needs to get through 277 to really, really go. Okay. Uh, Lamb Research, wow. They said 5.33 and down 50. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So now you have uh, 4.89, 4.93 up, 4.61 down. Okay, Boeing, 2.13, 2.16, FedEx, 2.36, Goldman Sachs, 222, 226. Actually, the 209, I'm going to look at the 210 puts. Earnings coming next week, but coming for JP Morgan and them this week. Meta, 216, 222. Snowman, 120, uh, 148, 151, underneath 139. OIH on the screen, if oil really pops, you got 289. MDB, you got 222 up and 209 down. Uh, NOW, uh, 477, and then 482. 482 becomes a big number, okay? Uh, Netflix, 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 earnings coming up soon. You got 355 up, 291 down. Let me tell you, Netflix, 
overplayed their hand. Now, maybe it goes up. It's not going up to 700 again. They overplayed their hand. Something that charges you 5 bucks and 6 bucks, and in three years they go to $17, they overplayed their hand. And if they miss, this is down 100 100 Nobody's saying they're going to miss. Risk to the downside. Microsoft 292, very straight, straightforward. UNH 522, very hard. 531 if it breaks. Google, uh, 101 and 109. Amazon, 105 and 108. Tesla, I like it to the downside. We'll look at the 175s right off the bat at up to about 150. Very interesting. Uh, and EMPH, we told you every Friday it goes down. It just goes down every Friday. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay. Uh, let me go to comments, questions. Uh, AI. AI. Right back down to this uh, 20 level, and they're going to have to prove it. When earnings come out, they're going to have to prove it. If earnings are good, back to 31. Okay? That's what we know. Okay, that's what we know. Everybody have a great trading day. See you in chat.